Hey, good morning. This is Mayor Belensky with Driving Markets. Hope you're all well. Um, okay, so the US markets in the last two days has risen from the low over a thousand points. Uh, that's mainly as a result of two factors. Number one, the FOMC, the Federal, Federal Open Market Committee, brought out quite a dovish report on interest rates, even though they indicated that by 2024 they will have raised interest rates six or seven times. Uh, that's number one. And number two, there is a Chinese real, real, real estate developer called Evergrande, which is in financial difficulties. They are huge. And uh, next Tuesday, they have an $83 million interest rate payment to make to U.S. bondholders. And uh, everyone's got eyes on that. Will they make that payment? Um, investors seem to be ignoring the facts because Evergrande, being the biggest Chinese real estate developer, if it goes bust, will send huge shockwaves through the credit market but no one seems to be paying that much attention to it. Um, I would suggest that you pay serious attention to it because this could be a repetition of the 2008-2009 debt crisis where one bank or developer after another uh, went bust. Um, and people ignored that also for the first 12 months. So do keep an eye on it and uh, don't follow the herd. At the moment, the markets are all going up. Uh, but if there is a serious impact on the Evergrande or other imp other effect factors that could affect the marketplace, then uh, you could have a serious downturn. Remember, the markets, especially in the US, are near the all-time highs. Um, and therefore, for you to gain from going long, the markets have to go up considerably, um, even though there's a lot of money there. So you've got the threat of interest rates, you've got rising inflation, you've got the biggest real estate developer in China potentially going bust. Um, I would suggest that you be very, very cautious. Remember, always trade small, always put a lot of stops on to allow for volatility. Um, and if you need to get hold of me, then contact me on LinkedIn um, or WhatsApp. A lot of you have my WhatsApp number. Um, and good luck on your trading. Speak to you next week.